poor air quality has led to an explosion of asthma cases and other health problems among vulnerable populations, including children, the elderly, and low-income residents. Each year, bad air causes two million deaths worldwide. Urban heat islands, which are caused by sunlight being absorbed by paved surfaces and roofs, lead to higher surface temperatures, up to 90 degrees. Atmospheric air temperatures are also higher, in the day by up to 6 degrees, and at night by up to 22 degrees. Vulnerable populations also face greater risks of heat exhaustion. In the U.S., there have been 8,000 premature deaths from excessive heat over the past 25 years. Increasing the tree canopy in cities is one way to fight both poor air quality and urban heat islands. Landscape architects work with city governments and local community groups to determine how best to add millions of trees to cities. They also ensure the trees themselves live long lives, improving the health of all city residents in the process. Trees remove dust and other pollutants from the air by either absorbing pollutants or catching them on leaf surfaces. Research shows significant short-term improvements in air quality in urban areas with 100% tree cover. There, trees can reduce hourly ozone by up to 15%, sulfur dioxide by 14%, and particulate matter by 13%. U.S. trees remove some 784,000 tons of pollution annually, providing $3.8 billion in value. Also, a single large healthy tree can remove more than 300 pounds of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere every year. New York City's urban forest alone removes 154,000 tons of CO2 annually. Older, larger trees provide far more environmental benefits than younger, smaller trees. Through their leaves, the trees also provide evaporative cooling, which increases air humidity. Shaded surfaces may be 20 to 45 degrees cooler, and evapotranspiration can reduce peak summer temperatures by 2 to 9 degrees. Imagine walking along a city sidewalk in the direct summer sun, and then turning onto a tree-covered street or entering a park. Notice how the air is much cooler in the tree's shade? Along streets, previously treeless communities can immediately feel the effects. Communities that previously went without pocket parks can breathe more easily under shady canopies. Large urban parks are forested oases. These crucial pockets of green benefit the whole city. Still, not all communities benefit. It's important that trees be distributed equally across the city. In million tree campaigns, lots of work goes into ensuring trees live long, healthy lives. Landscape architects help ensure a diverse set of species is planted so insects or diseases don't wipe out whole parks. Tree selection is important. Low maintenance, long-lived, drought, and disease-resistant trees that give off minimal volatile organic compounds VOCs, should be used. In addition, trees need to be planted with good soils in large, deep pits so they're allowed to grow unrestricted. Flexible sidewalks around tree roots help ensure they get enough room. Instead of trucking in trees from around the country, which increases their carbon footprint, some cities use their own parks as nurseries to grow the trees needed for urban forests. When they're ready to plant, community volunteers are brought into the process. In the U.S., cities take up just 3% of land, but contain 80% of the population. Cities may take up a relatively small share of all land now, but are projected to consume forest land the size of Pennsylvania between 2000 and 2050. Two-thirds of the planet is expected to live in cities by 2050. With the rapid urban growth, it's essential that trees remain, whether along streets, in small pocket parks, or big green spaces. A 40% tree canopy is a challenging but worthy goal for every city to reach.